So what we're going to do is draw a horizontal line across the chart at a random point and we're going to see how many times this line acts as support and resistance on the lower time frames. And when you see how many times it does, then you see that support and resistance lines are really just curb fitting to try and show a picture that doesn't actually exist. And a lot of uh, trading educators will do the same thing. They'll draw these lines of resistance and show you how important these lines are. And this is the first lesson in trading, really, is trading these specific areas which are important, when in reality, they mean nothing because they just, they're always going to match some form of support and resistance because there's enough candles in the area. So I'm going to go through this line and show you, which I just drew in randomly, how many times this line is going to act as support or resistance and how meaningless these lines really are because, again, they're just trying to curb fit into a picture that doesn't actually exist. And then you get these traders that instead of using lines of support and resistance, they use these price zones that are important. And now you're just widening this, this space for them to be significant. So we're just using a line just to show you how many times this line that we, again, we just randomly drew in has significant touch points, which can be considered lines of support and resistance. We won't count this, but any other educator would say, oh, look, this is a, a false break region. There's one there on the lower time frames that would be considered one, two, one here. Price acting as support in this region. All these candles struggling to break through our imaginary line. The high test. This candle would be called a high test at this area. I mean, how many times have you entered or exited a trade considering the numbers on the right of the chart? And if they're important or not. I can't remember the last time I did that because I realized a long time ago this doesn't actually work. This is random at best. This is a 50-50 coin flip. So 50% of the chance this chart, the price is going to reach this chart, this imaginary line, our line is random. It's going to reach this line and it's going to react to it or it's going to go straight through it. So it's going to break through this line of support and resistance or it's going to be held up at that area. And as you can see, our random line is just showing a pretty good 50-50 breakthroughs or hold the support to resistance with this perfect pretty close to perfect here yeah. breakthrough 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 but beforehand this was an important line of support and resistance if you were analyzing this chart from here on and you drew this line in you would think oh this is an important line because we got we held up here three times and then broke through and we're coming to retest, but just breaks straight through, doesn't respect it at all because we curb fitting. All these areas, here we consider this a false break. Another perfect So try this on your own, go get a chart. Find a chart that you're working on at the moment that you think has important lines of support and resistance in it. Delete all the lines, put in a random line in the middle of nowhere, where obviously where you need a lot of price action crossing over. And you'll see that that random line is going to have just as many touch points as the line that you carefully placed looking at price action. I think you guys get my point. Going back to the daily chart, see how many times this random line of support and resistance which we just randomly drew in acted as support and resistance so anyone who's trying to show you that these lines really are, are really important is just showing you that it's a 50 50 shot at best and in reality what you're looking for is price structure you're looking for the structure of the price what's happening with price what patterns is it presenting to you And we can show you how in our trading program. And it's something we're really proud of. And we're really just trying to 
put out the best quality content on the internet to take away from these scammers that are really just taking in money without putting in the work. We've put in over 10 years of work into getting our charts as clean as possible and showing which of our, our things are curb fitting and which are actual price indicators. As you can see, there's no moving averages on here because moving averages are just as random as these lines of support and resistance. You can curb fit moving averages to fit the picture perfectly. If there's enough touch, if there's enough price action in a certain area, of course it's going to touch and retest a line of a uh, moving average line in the same way it touched and retest our random line of support and resistance. And people just drawing in random trend lines. Yes, trend lines have an important role, but you can't just draw one in anywhere you like, touching two points and thinking, oh, this is an important line. Only specific touch points are required when drawing a trend line. You need to know price structure so you know where to draw these trend lines in. So just keep that in mind, guys. And uh, if you're interested, come check us out. And yeah, we're busy writing a beta test at the moment. We're looking for a couple of traders. Um, we've got a few spots left. And we're going to use those guys to beta test our program before releasing it to the general public. So if you're interested in joining us, interested in learning something new at a really discounted price, then come on over, send us, go to our website and send us an email, cynicalytics.com. Send us an email with the subject as beta test. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay nimble. Much love.